everybody, and welcome back to Falcon Plays RimWorld. Let me go ahead and get the game started here. Alrighty, um, I did what I did was in a, well, I did what I was supposed to do. For some second there, I felt like I was going to be Popeye. I am what I am, so I can't yams no more. But no, but I did what I said I was going to do, which was rename the guy that I just caught. So, Brizinger CZ, welcome to the base, or welcome to the colony, I should say. You are now part of it. Uh, again, we're trying to condense the list as much as possible, guys. Right now, I have, like, about 26, 27 guys waiting on the list, so... If you haven't been renamed yet, believe me, you'll get to, I'll get to you at one point or another, just a matter is how far we extend to our colonists here. They should move a lot further down, believe me. There's at least room for a good six or seven more. I am actually thinking about renaming my three starting colonists to get a few more of you guys involved as well. Um, so I'll probably, you know, if you guys actually don't skip the start, um, if you guys want me to rename Batman, Yuta Bolt, and um, Mangina, and to colonists, like, and to viewers, let me know, and I'll rename them, and we'll get at least the, sh the list a bit shortened down as well, so that'll probably help us out as well, but, you know, if you guys want to see that done, let me know, and we'll go ahead and do that. But what do we have over here? Uh, an eclipse? Okay. Happens. It's gonna happen indeed. Uh, let's see, how are we building this away? Pretty good, okay. So those batteries will start charging up as well, and cool, we have a little bit more battery action. As a matter of fact, we could probably even extend our batteries to the right a bit more. Um, hopefully without actually crashing down the base. I could do that as a matter of fact, but I won't do that just yet. Because I feel that we have more than enough power, but definitely something to consider if it comes down to it. Let me see here. I also need to get more standing lamps, as a matter of fact. Let me... Let's see. Let me set up a lamp right here. And our power conduits should really start running down a bit more, as a matter of fact. So let's see how we have this going on. Let me extend this down to, I'd say, here for now. And we'll do the same with this here. And then we'll do the same over here. Alrighty, good. And then, um, this, this situation here is set up. I could put lamps over here, but honestly, there's no reason why my guys would actually come down here anymore. So, let me just set this up like so. I'm just going to extend down to here. Good. And I guess I could also do this. Alrighty. And then we could have another one extending down to the side. Okay. And this will basically be just for us to put a few lamps on and uh, have these guys not complain about being in the dark and all that other stuff there. So, um, let's see. Standing lamp. I guess the next one would probably be best if we place right about, I don't know, let's say here, maybe. Another one there, and another one right there. And where did I set that up right here? I already lost it. <laughs> where did that lamp set? Somebody built the first lamp, so it gives me an idea as to where it should be going. Oh, god damn it! I think it was down through here, though, right? So let's just say... Let's just say... Oh, I can't even connect it yet because it won't be connected. It'll connect across, which is kind of really weird. Combat supplier! Good! Alrighty. Um, who is our talk-to guy now? Is Batman still our number one talker? Six. Our arson is a uh, five. So yeah, Batman's gonna probably be the best one for this job still. So where is old Batsicles at? Batman, where have you gone to? There you are. Over here mining away like a good worker. Let me go ahead and have you actually talk to the combat supplier, though, because we could use... Um, we could use uh, sell a few of these weapons for sure. Another thing that we have to worry about is that um, we're going to have to build another launch pad for silver in case we want to have a big silver supply to actually trade with. Let's see here. So these guys deal with weapons as a matter of fact. So later on, later on, later on. Again, I'm not too worried about what I'm selling just because I have so much of everything. I mean, I have more weapons than I actually have. You know, I have probably four times as many fucking weapons as I do um, colonists at this point. So that doesn't really matter. Uh, let me sell this. And what else do we have over here going? Uh, ba, 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 ba. I could sell this pistol off. I said I want to sell the pistol. Mouse. Mouse, stop doing it. There you go. So now they have 13 to deal with, which isn't enough. Um, do they have anything for us still? We could buy this off of them for sure. And there you go. We'll do that. And then they have 135 now extra to kind of deal with here. So let's go ahead and sell this uh, pistol off right about there. What else can we sell? They have 93 left. So another pistol is right over here, and then 51 left, meaning I could sell one more pistol. Cool, and there we go. Maximize that as much as possible. Alrighty, uh, the other thing I should probably worry about here is actually having them mine an extra silver spot for us. So let's go ahead and do this right here, mining, and then we'll set this up as another uh, silver old depository for us. So we have a little bit more money to actually deal with. And hopefully selling those weapons gave us room to pick up. Oh, as a matter of fact, everything's been picked up, it seems. All right, good on you guys. So, you know what does it, you know what that means, right? It means that uh, Herb is on deck now to kind of do what he does best here. Herb, where have you run off to? 
Herb is down here doing some hard work for us. But for now, Herb, I need you to kind of, uh, actually, I shouldn't have to militarize you just yet. Let me have you just come over here, Herb, and equip this Molotov cocktail. So I'm going to do a little bit of uh, mount, I was going to say mountain burning for us, which doesn't really make any sense at all. <laughs> but we have a little burning for you. You know what? I could probably even make an opening back here, right? To So I don't have to go all the way around. But then again, what I don't like about that is if I do make an opening here, it might encourage the raiders to kind of uh, run down through here and kind of get into our base, right? Yeah, so I won't do that for that. It's a good idea in theory, but at the same time, it kind of uh, welcomes a little bit of a situation for us. And a blight destroyed our crops. Yeah, it'll do that, unfortunately. So, Herb, you are equipped. Let me uh, militarize you really quickly. Let me have you hop off over here, sir. And let me have you start burning some of these bodies for us. Don't jump into fire, Herb. Why do we always have that issue? There you go. Get those bodies good and burning. Don't burn yourself. Irv, I'm a little bit worried as to what you just did here. Let me have you run back off over here. And I think that should probably start causing a little bit of a chain reaction with the bodies and whatnot. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're good to go. The metal is going to actually stop the fire from uh, pressing onward anyway, so it's not really a big concern right now. Okay, overall, pretty good, though. Let's see, what else can we actually start doing right now? Well, I guess we could continue doing the lights thing. I actually want to take the time to actually train some of my guys with shooting and kind of get them, make them better shots. So, um, how about we go about this, like, uh, say we take two people off of their duties and then have them shoot and kind of train? And I think taking two people or three people away from their duties and just uh, having them shoot, it's not going to really cause too much of a concern for our base here. So... Uh, I suppose we should probably go with who are the lesser shots. Uh, Herb is good to go. Let's see, Mangina, how is your shooting, bro? Uh, Mangina, oh, you're you're good to go. Mighty Mikey, I think Mighty Mikey could definitely use... Uh, he's up to six, almost. Let's worry about the guys with threes and ones. How about that? Moldad, shooting, almost a ten, so I don't have to worry about him, honestly. Kyle, Ferguson, how are you doing? Shooting, almost at a six, five and a half, so to say. Melting Cat. Okay, Melting Cat could definitely use some uh, training over here. So, Melt, let me have you go on back over here. And let's see here. What else can we do? How about the Snez? The Snez is at a 5. How about you to Bolt? No, I said you to Bolt. Uh, 6. Okay. Arson, how are you doing, buddy? Arson's a suit. Uh, I'm shooting five. Oh, I need to get actually arson a weapon, by the way. Arson, can you stop what you're doing momentarily? You're a five, right? So you could definitely do some good work for us on anyone 24. Let's see, Jeff, how are you doing here? Okay, Jeff, let me have you be the next guy in line, as a matter of fact, and have you hook up right about over there, I'd say. And what else? I need, I got two guys recruited for this situation. I need uh, at least, uh, I think Brokit could definitely, oh, four. He's getting up there. How about you, Herb? No, Herbs, I said it's good. Um... Penske file definitely needs some work. So Penske, let me recruit you and have you go and hook up right over here. What do we have over here? Something fell into the location here. What is this? Uh, more metal. Okay, no big deal. So the guys that I recruited, we'll have them start working on over here. Now I wonder if it's probably best to actually switch to a weapon that shoots faster. Maybe who knows? Um, I won't think about that just yet though. So no, don't move back there. Cat, ignore what I just said. Let me have you start shooting at, uh, this thing right there. Yeah, it seems that it's probably better if I give him, like, a faster shooting weapon, right? Well, we'll worry about that afterward, I suppose. Yeah, see, like, Jeff's over here just doing crazy work on that. Uh, let's see, and you, Penske, work on this guy over here. Alrighty, so you guys do your job right there, increase your shit and whatnot. Mental break soon, Herb. What is your, what is Herb's problem? Why, Herb? I thought we were good. Happiness, uh, what's in the darkness? Uh, tired, hideous environment. Observe corpses. What corpse? Herb, there's no corpse here. You just burned them yourself. Alrighty, but they are worrying about the lightning, which was uh, something I was concerned about, as a matter of fact. So now that we've actually extended the power condos, we could probably put some more sun lamps. So let me put another one right here. Another one right about there. And then let's set up another one here. Another one there, there. Probably not the best use of my lighting, but whatever. If it'll keep these guys happier a bit longer, then not that big of a deal. Mental break is now gone, so it was probably a momentary thing just dealing with those bodies and whatnot. How are you guys doing over here? Melting Cat, how is your shooting going along here? Yeah, so it goes up by 10 each time he shoots, it seems. Now let me check out Jeff. Jeff has a faster shooting weapon. Does that increase faster for him? Yeah, it's 10 per shot. Huh. 
So you know what, Melting Cat, it's kind of a tough situation because if we have a Raider Assault, I have to switch you up soon enough here. So how about we have you get a M16, wherever I might have one here. Where are my M16s at? Right there. And then Penske File, same thing for you. Let me hook you up with an M16 here so you have a better rate of fire. Okay. What do we have here? Raiders, of course, Raiders. So let me put this in real time, and um, unfortunately, now we have to kind of stop and unmilitarize these guys. Okay, so let me have them unmilitarized for now, and we'll forget about equipping those uh, one weapons that they had there, because uh, I need them to, with their original weapons for my base setup over here, or my plan of attack anyway. So we failed to recruit Moldat, but that's okay guys, get rest and get uh, sleep, whatever you need to do as soon as possible, because the raid's about to come down on us and we don't want that happening. I'll set up the other situation here for the uh, silver as soon as possible, but right now we have the raid to kind of deal with here. Alrighty, and we do need to set up a few more lights as a matter of fact. Okay, you know what? Uh, mental break soon. Who is this? Melting Cat now is about to have the mental break. Let's see, what is Melting Cat's issue here? Melting Cat, don't act like I don't treat you good. Ah, uh, I'm darkness, hungry. Well, you know what? Go, go eat then. I'm not telling you not to. And, okay. Melting Cat, go get some food, get some rest in you, etc, etc. Oh, he's gonna rest first and foremost, that's good. He's hungry though, so hopefully... Okay, and here comes the raider, so... <laughs> mental break suit. Melting Cat, you might have a mental break, unfortunately, but... That sucks because I need you in the playing field for now. Um, how many guys is over here, as a matter of fact? Seems like a really big fucking raid, that's for sure. And they're gonna probably be coming down the top side. Which sucks, it doesn't go too well for me. Alrighty, so, um, really quickly here, let me have these guys militarize. And where are these guys going to attack from? That's the real question. It seems that they're going over on this side, so let me have these guys kind of meet up over here. And then you guys, uh, let me have you meet up over here as well for now. And try to get a grasp of where these guys are going. Yeah, it seems that they're going to the top side for sure. I mean, they might break off a few to the bottom portion, but the majority of them will be coming over here. So it's probably a good thing I actually set my guys up for this one. Now, this part over here, I'm not too crazy about. I feel like I have a better chance at stuff on this one. But, um, you know, I can't control where the Raiders go, unfortunately. They uh have a mind of their own sometimes, and they kind of do what they want to do. Yeah, there's a few going to break off downward, but the majority of them are coming up the top side. So now that we've done that, let's see. Mangina, R4. So you hook up right there, buddy. Mighty Mikey, you hang out right there. And Herb, oh, god damn it, Herb. God damn it, Herb. Um, let's see. Let me hook you up with an M16 soon enough here. Let's see. Harry, uh, Harry is a, has an M24, so you hang out back over here. Kyle, what about you? M24, so our, our R4 charge rifle, you go over there. Moldad, M16, let me hook you up right about here, I'd say. Alright guys, stop. Make up your fucking mind where you're going to attack me from. Alrighty, Herb, you need to hurry it up, buddy. Snez, uh, Snez got an M16, so let me hook you up right there. Jeff, M16, let me hook you up right about there. Penske, 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 you hang out back over here. Arson, right over here. You to bolt, right back over this side. Herb, buddy, you better get that weapon soon enough. Bro kick, what about you, bro kick? Uh, M, you got an R4, huh? So let me hook you up right about there. And Batman, let me hook you up right about there. And let's see, Melting Cat, I'm sorry, bro, but it is time that you wake your ass up and get some, uh, some killing done in your name. Or killing in the name of, like Zach DeLaRocca once said. And let's see here. Uh, okay, so two guys are down here. Three, four, five. Some of them are actually going down this side, too, which is a little bit worrisome. So you guys need to make up your mind. Stop attacking me from, like, every single angle on my fucking base right now. This guy even set that shit on fire. You know what? I'm gonna set that blast charge and destroy your life. Oh, they're giving up. No, they're not giving up. They're just setting that on fire as well. Alrighty, Herb, uh, you're good to go now. M16 in hand. Let me have you hook up right about... No, don't arrest anybody. Okay. Now let's see what's going on over here. Oh, they're giving up. I think, to a degree. Or maybe setting something else on fire. Who knows? Alrighty, so now let's actually set this one off. Okay, good. I got the most of them. This guy is really fast as negotiating, dude. Alrighty, the door is now open, guys. The, the, basically, the uh, 
the ball is in your court now, so hopefully you guys don't screw me over too bad here. Alrighty. The, yeah, the door's open, guys. Go and uh, hang out over here now. Forget about anything else. This man is just rushing us like crazy. It's gonna be his downfall, though, unfortunately. What does he have? He's got an uh, uh, incinerary launcher, which is kind of scary all the time. Okay. Mm hmm. Let me set this one off now. Okay, so this guy has just rushed back through our base. So, Herb, let me have you take care of this guy here. Guys, don't worry about uh, the guy that went by you. Worry about the guys coming in. So you fire at Ryu from fucking Street Fighter over here. Is that guy named Ninja? Totally is. Okay. How are we doing? Good okay so far. A uh, little bit scary situation, but I think we should be okay. Uh, famous last words, probably. Okay, so that guy is dead, and Herb did destroy this guy's life. So, Herb, now that you are good to go, let me have you hook up right over here, buddy. That guy is running for his life over here. Who is that, Osama? Osama Bin Laden is just running for his life. He is now dead, though. And what do we have here? Kenuke. Kenuke. Sir after negotiator. About to go down, I'd imagine. Oh, yeah. All right, good job so far, guys. Uh, how is going on over here? They put that on fire, but it seems that they have given up actually invading us from that side, so I'm not too worried about that. All right, somebody get a uh, Hubard. Ooh, Hubard the Assassin. A little bit scary, but okay, he's down as well. All right, so far so good. I'm not really having too many worries about my guys, as a matter of fact. These guys are just kind of walking into like a fucking debt field, it seems. Oh, yeah. All right, how are you guys doing over here? Uh, Kyle, you're good still. Oh, yeah, we're good. So soon enough, we'll probably start sending my guys to start doing a bit of, uh, actual melee action. Uh, probably take care of, uh, let's see, three guys over here about to charge in. We have four. No, we have... No, it's probably not best that we do that just yet. Let's hold up and knock out a few more before I send my melee crew in. Oh, no! We actually knocked him out! Don't kill him! Jeff! Jeff! I need you to capture this guy, dude. Capture him! Good! Okay, so now that that's done with, Arson, can you go and start melee attacking over here? Same for you to bolt. And, uh, same for Melting Cat. Oh, he's running off. Nah, we're not gonna be able to catch him. He's fucking gone. So, is that it? Is that it? Uh, for the most part, I mean, we could have my guys actually start taking pot shots over here. So, let me just have you fire at him. You fire at him, and then Melting Cat, how about you start firing at this guy behind you? And maybe, maybe we'll lock out. I doubt it, but maybe. And then meanwhile, let's have these guys unmilitarized, start putting out fires. Same over here, and same over here. Jeff, you can unmilitarize yourself too, buddy. Alrighty, pretty good. Uh, this guy is still over here in our bases, so maybe melee attack over here. Cat, stop shooting and start doing some melee. And Arson, if you please can, let me have you go after this guy as well. Come on, somebody get a shot. No! He's gonna get away. Somebody, come on, pump those legs. Pump those legs. Get him. You the bolt? Come on, you saying bolt. Don't let him run you, uh, outrun you. You saying bolt. You're the fastest man on the planet. Knock him out. Knock him out. Don't die. Ah, oh, he died. That's a shame. <laughs> we tried, though. Alrighty, guys, so let me have you, uh, unmilitarize yourselves now. Or not unmilitarize yourself, unmilitarize you guys, but you know what I mean. Alrighty, and let's have these bodies get, uh, Good to go for picking up, and same with the rifles, and same old routine. Kill them and then clean up. But again, though, a really, really good raid. Uh, I'm really liking what we have going on over here. We're thinking we're doing a pretty good job. Ryu, let me have you get in a situation where I could actually recruit you. Friendly chat, recruitment. What's Ryu's uh, status here? He's terrible at just about everything, though. Social, artistic, and crafting. Not like that's even useful. Alright, so that guy's not going to be that much of a help to the base, unfortunately. He's going to basically do stupid cleaning and hauling more than likely. That is what we'll basically assign him to. And, okay. Get these weapons going as well, and this as well. Alrighty, that seems to be just about everybody. Right? All the X's have been taken care of. Base is still on fire, but not bad altogether. Let me have these guys rush over there. Get that as soon as possible. Alright! Another, another fucking good raid. We were able to fend people off. We didn't take any casualties. We didn't get any knockouts of ourselves. We knocked them out, but we didn't knock ourselves out, which is actually good. So, again, I'm feeling a lot better and better about our situation in terms of uh, keeping us safe and being able to get knockouts more uh, frequently. So, M16, let me have that be covered up. All right. And let's see. We're also putting out more lighting over here, which is good. Let's see here. Standing lamp. 
Oh, that's the one to be built there soon enough. And then let's set up another lamp over here, I'd say. And another one right about there. Have I set up some over on this side? I don't think I have, have I? There you go, guys. Oh, you know what? I could probably do with a lamp, let's say, about here and another one about there. I don't think I set up any for this side. Okay, that'll take care of that. And for the sake of argument, let's put another lamp over on this side. It's not going to really do much for us, but whatever. Just for the sake of kind of getting a regular type of flow to our power conduits and whatnot. I guess it'll do for that part at least. Let me get this going through here, and then get this going through there. At this point, it is kind of almost a waste of power, but at the same time, I kind of want to have like a regular type of uh, feel to the base where everything is lit up to some sort of pattern and whatnot. Unfortunately, when it's not patterned up, it kind of really bothers the shit out of me, so <laughs> whatever. Our batteries are doing just about okay, it seems. Uh, I could probably build a few more soon enough to kind of get some going, but no big concern, honestly. We failed to recruit Brizinger. All right, Brizinger, CZ, you need to get your shit together and join us already. Okay, other than that, let's see here. Batteries? No, batteries are doing really good. Again, I said I could also uh, mine this out and put a few more there, and that'll probably be the case at some point or another, but I think for the most part that we are conducting electricity pretty good where it's not going to be that much of an issue just now. Uh, maybe at one point or another we could even indoctrinate this uh, geyser to kind of uh, help us out. Uh, of course, that will draw the ire of the raiders, and they'll basically the first thing they go after is just taking that down, but... Eh, it's basically a chance that you're willing to take a time, so let me set up a door right here. Alright, everything is just about fixed up again. Perfect. Uh, I need a door right over this side. Good! Alright. So, how about we end the up the episode here today? Oh, building this connect. Who's disconnected and why? Oh, because the power condos haven't been built. Well, you know what, Lamp, just wait up. You'll get built soon enough, I'm sure. Alright guys, let's go ahead and end the episode here today. I felt that we've had a good run, we got another knockout, we successfully defended another raid. And you know, things are doing really, really good to the base, honestly. We are, we have all the metal in the world, we have all the food in the world, and we're getting a lot of colonists to recruit. As a matter of fact, we might have to start building a few more rooms for the next uh, inductees to the base. So that's something we'll cover the next episode for sure. Uh, once again guys, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I encourage you to go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Honestly, the support right now really means a lot in terms of the growth for the channel and um, see more appropriate quality conduct, um, I guess, videos in the channel and whatnot. Not conduct. Conduct that's never appropriate <laughs> in my channel. But either way, guys, I uh, can catch you next time.